David Harris is back home in Louisiana, now the athletic director at Tulane, the, the native of Baton Rouge, but your family uh, is originally from New Orleans. Kind of, kind of. first of all, take us through that history and the, the, the whole New Orleans Baton Rouge aspect of your family. Sure. So my parents uh, grew up in, in New Orleans, uh, and so they got married and ultimately uh, moved to Baton Rouge. When uh, they were in New Orleans, they had uh, my two older sisters. So my sisters uh, were born in New Orleans, but then we transitioned to Baton Rouge, and uh, me and my younger brother were born in Baton Rouge. And so uh, lots of family here in the area. Uh, my dad had several brothers and sisters that moved all across the country, but my mom's brothers and sisters settled here in New Orleans. And so uh, throughout uh, my early lifetime, uh, I spent quite a bit of time uh, coming to the city, visiting them for holidays and other events. So you went to U High, got a chance to play football there. So you understand very well the importance of Friday nights in the fall in Louisiana. Absolutely. I think uh, back to my time um, at U High and, and we had a chance to, to win a state championship uh, in the Superdome my senior year. Uh, just a great memory. And, um, you know, in my previous job at UNI, we had the, the Unidome. Uh, and so we hosted uh, high school championships there in the state of Iowa. Uh, and every year when we do that, I would think about uh, having that opportunity to play in the Superdome uh, and win a state championship for our coach, Willis Stelly. Uh, and so just great memories. And I certainly understand the importance uh, of high school football in the area, how special it is, and, and the memories that it can create that last a lifetime. So your path to get back to Louisiana has kind of weaved from college at Ole Miss to working at Ole Miss to Wisconsin to Iowa State to Northern Iowa, and now this opportunity comes up. When you first heard that Troy Dannon was leaving to go to Washington, I know you said in your introductory press conference that it was you reached out to the search committee because you saw not only a special institution at Tulane, but a chance to come home. So just talk about that process. Certainly. Uh, you know, I had an opportunity. Um, I've had opportunities in, in my career. Uh, to look at other positions uh, and, and consider them, uh, but really this is one that just stood out uh, for the reasons that you just mentioned. Uh, ultimately, this is a special place, and I feel that we have a special opportunity uh, to do great things here. Uh, and so when the position first came available, as you said, I reached out uh, to the search firm because I knew uh, that I, if I could have an opportunity to be considered, uh, that's absolutely what I'd want to have happen. Uh, and then I was prepared to let the chips fall where they may at that point. Uh, but I knew when the opportunity came open based on the academic reputation of the university uh, and based on what's happening athletically and based on my family being based uh, out of this area, uh, it, it almost felt too good to be true to have that combination uh, come together. Uh, and so my wife and I knew from the beginning that this is something that we wanted to look at and, and pursue. Uh, and we just feel very fortunate that it worked out. So your introductory news conference is over. You'll be back in New Orleans for the American Athletic Conference championship game on Saturday. Tulane and SMU, a chance to win back-to-back -back conference championships, something that has never happened in the history of this Tulane program. Saturday's got a chance to be a really special day here at Tulane, doesn't it? Certainly, and you never want to take those uh, for granted. Um, you know, championship opportunities don't come around all the time. Uh, and so whenever you have a chance to play for and win a championship, uh, it's sort of all hands on deck from a standpoint of providing a, a great experience for your fans, making sure your student athletes are, are prepared, making sure you're allocating the appropriate resources, uh, and just doing everything you can to make it a special weekend for everybody uh, who's a part of the Tulane family. And so I, I absolutely plan to be here. I'll pl probably fly in uh, on, on Friday uh, and be here for the game and, and look forward to meeting a number of people that I hadn't had a chance to meet yet. I've met a lot of people at the last game, met a lot of people today at the press conference, and I'm sure I'll meet more on Saturday. So it's an, it's an exciting time for us, and it's, it's an exciting time for the athletics department, for the university, uh, for everyone who loves Tulane. Uh, you're right, a chance to win a back-to-back -back championship uh, for the first time is just phenomenal, and we're going to give it everything we got to make this a special time for our fans. Last question. I know you'll be back and forth between Iowa and Louisiana through the start of 2024 when you 
begin full time here on January the third. What is it that people who meet you once you're here full time? What will they What will they see in a leader of athletics and David Harris? I hope what they'll see uh, is that uh, I'm, I'm working very hard uh, to advance the Tulane Athletics Department. Uh, that I want to know them. Uh, that I'm approachable. Uh, that I want to listen. Uh, that I don't come into this position believing that I know everything. I really don't know uh, much of anything at this point, and I'm going to be leaning on people who do know uh, to be able to help as I make my transition and learn more uh, about what's happening here. Uh, But hopefully they'll find that uh, we're doing everything that we can to move Tulane Athletics forward in every way uh, across the board. Uh, and that um, I'm really going to enjoy doing this. Uh, One of my mentors told me recently to uh, take a minute to smell the roses, and uh, so for me, uh, that's going to be part of this journey, not only doing this work, but enjoying uh, the opportunity to do this work because, uh, as they talked about in the press conference, there were plenty of people that were interested in this opportunity, and now I'm the one, and we're the ones who got a chance to be able to do this, so we're going to work our tails off. We're going to do everything that we can to move it forward, but We're going to have a good time doing it, and uh, we want to make sure that the Tulane family has a good time doing it. Best of luck here at Tulane, and we look forward to seeing you much more in the future. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.